Hi everyone, this is Cody from BridgeCom Systems, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the CPS for your AnyTone radio. So first up, go to BridgeComSystems.com. Uh, this is a great resource for all your radio needs. Then go to the support section. Now choose whatever generation of radio you have. In this case we're going to be installing the 878 software. Now what you want to do here is find the correct, correct version of software. Typically you want to just get the latest. Uh, so in this case, we're going to install 1.13. Uh, now your radio will come with some sort of documentation, whether it's on the front of the box or just inside the box, that will tell you what version you need, uh, what version of firmware your radio has. Uh, so we're going to get 1.13, which is currently the latest. Then I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And now it might take a minute to download. Now this is going to be in a zip file, so we can see it here. Now what you want to do with this is right click on it, and then extract all. Now show extracted files when complete, just say extract. Now this could take a minute. Okay, so now that it's extracted, we have our extracted file that showed up. Now at this point we could get rid of the zip file, we no longer need it. So we're going to open this up. Now in here there's a few different folders. Um, so here's our update file and then in here we have our, um, those are our update files as well. So this, the labeling on this is a little bit confusing. You might be confused by this. Now the, the file we're looking for is actually going to be under the update file. Now this down here is actually your, your update uh, firmware files. Uh, now the, the software is here. It's an application type file. Uh, it's a setup 1.13 or uh, whatever generation that you have. You're just looking for that application file. Uh, now what we're going to do is right click on this, run it as administrator. Now this program, um, there's some weird things that can happen if you don't. You always want to run it as administrator, and I'll show you an easy way to do that once we have it installed. Uh, so just go ahead and install it. Now I want to create a desktop icon. I'm going to check that. and finish. It's going to launch it. Okay, so I'm going to close out of it. Now here is our file. Okay, now what you want to do with it, uh, probably because I've installed it before, it's kind of showing up this way. Uh, typically it would look like this over here that doesn't have that administrator icon on it. So what you want to do is right click on it, go to properties, and then go to uh, compatibility over here, and then check this run this program as administrator checkbox. Hit apply and then OK. And from now on, this program, if you just double click on it like normal, it's going to ask you if you want to open it, and you say yes, and now it will automatically run it as administrator for you. Now if you don't want to do that, you can just right click on it and run it as administrator that way. Uh, but it's that simple, you're in it, now you can uh, get to work making a code plug, um, programming your radio, unlocking your radio, whatever you want to do from here, uh, you should be all set. Uh, so hopefully you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss out on any more content as we uh, are producing it all the time. So this is Cody from BridgeCom Systems 7.3.